We're here at uh, Pearson's Engineering, getting ready for the um, 76 members meeting at Goodwood. And you'll see there are all sorts of wonderful E-types um, being prepared, original lightweight cars, um, D-types, XKSS, Ferrari, uh, LM, 250LM. Um, there's a C-type here being uh, reconstructed uh, with its body over here that will be going back on it. Um, this, I love coming here, it's a real treasure trove of, uh, of wonderful old Jaguars and racing cars. You'll see over here there's an, another original long nose um, D-type, a works car, and then as you can see in their Curie cost colours. Anyway, this is a real treasure trove and I love coming here. Uh, they do a fantastic job of preparing the car and there's just nothing they don't know about uh, preparing a Jaguar for racing. The car's just being prepped here. Uh, let's just have a look. I think he's done a couple of things. The fire extinguisher has been changed. The seat belts have been changed because they're dated and they go um, out of spec. Let me see, he's put a new header tank on here. I think the old one was, had paint coming out of it. Um, but otherwise, really, we haven't touched anything. The engine is exactly as it was last year. And... Uh, it actually hasn't been used since the revival last year. It's going to have a quick run up on the rolling road, I think, next week. So it'll be interesting to hear what the outcome of that is. Purely because I think we had a bit of a misfire that we couldn't really get to the bottom of because it was so wet at the race. Um, but it, it's a good, a good idea to run it up on the rolling road and just see if they can trace that. But it wasn't debilitating, it was just a minor thing. Right, so first run out of 2018. Let's just give it a little run up the road and see how she's doing. Being a pre-63 spec car, of course, it's completely road legal, taxed, MOT'd, insured, and um, that was really one of the main factors, primary motivators for building a pre-63 car because it's uh, it's just as a proper road car should be. A little bit firmer perhaps in the suspension but uh, it's still a perfectly enjoyable and usable road car. Such an evocative view down the bonnet I think. There's nothing like an E-type. The D-type's very similar as well but it's such a great view. Better not to start them up every week, frankly, because all you do is um, sort of foul the plugs, pour a lot of fuel down into the engine, and it doesn't frankly do it any good, unless you're going to give it a 10 mile blast. I mean, that would be fine. But just to, just to start it up and let it take over is, frankly, it does more harm than good. It's great to be back in it again, actually. I miss, miss driving this car. I really don't drive it enough. Uh, so there she is. I think almost ready to go. The next time we see her, We'll be at Goodwood.